What's going on everybody? It's Oz with Tow Trucks, Cars and Energy Drinks and we're back at it today. Back with this uh, old school cut list that's on the rotisserie. I know a couple of you guys were in my comments and you're asking, you're like, hey, uh, how do you load that car that's on the rotisserie? And I'm about to show you. So we're over at Triple T Blasting over here in O'Fallon and uh, we're about to load it up. So I brought a little bit more straps with me this time. I watched my old video because that was the first time I've ever loaded one of these and I see where I made a couple mistakes and where I'll uh, perfect it a little bit more. So I guess this is a $350,000 build. I didn't know that. Um, does it make me feel any easier about towing it? Absolutely not, but guess what? We got to bust it out. It's a very good client of mine and a good contract. So I will uh, walk to wherever and back to get this job done. So uh, they blasted this car and it's actually very clean up underneath. You can see it's still got very nice metallic. It almost looks like they repainted it. And um, that's just how it looks like underneath. So it looks like it's very minimal body work that's gonna need to be done once it goes back over to Donovan's. And um, man, I didn't know they did like crazy builds like that. I knew they built some cool cars, but this is like whole next level stuff right here. So let's go ahead and get it. With no further ado, I give you loading the rotisserie cutlass. First things first, we got to go ahead and pull it up the bed. So uh, I'm going to do a little bit better um, hook this time than I did last time.
Well, it's going a little bit smoother. And remember, guys, I'm doing this by myself. I really had no help at all. And um, it's going pretty good. I almost got it up to bed. Last time I did it, I had to redo it because I had too much slack. But I really wrapped it really good on both sides this time. So that way now it's pulling nice and evenly. Last time it was kind of pulling a little jacked up. So uh, let's go ahead and load it up the rest of the way. And I'm trying to do this a lot better so you guys can actually see because last time I couldn't even see anything. So let's see, we're just gonna put it right here and we'll load that up the rest of the way. I think that's a pretty good angle. I like kind of the way I did it a little bit better last time. I had more room, it was pulled up more and uh, kind of shot myself in the foot on this one because now when I wrapped it around there last time, I was able to get a little bit more, but it'll be okay. I just kind of you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? So now we're gonna strap the living daylights out of this thing so we can go ahead and get it transported. Last time I didn't have enough straps with me either. This time I brought a whole surplus. So we got the first last little strap on. It's gonna go right over here on this side. That way it won't roll forward, so you get it safe. And you see when I say leave a little bit of slack in it? That's why you want to leave a little bit of slack in it, so that way you can get straight and it's not all silky, that way it don't move in your foot. We'll leave that right there, kind of like that, leave it loose. Then we're going to do the same thing on this side. Those straps are your friends. I don't know how long it took me last time. I'm thinking like 13 minutes or something. If I were to guess, we'll see if I can get it faster. It looks like they took the doors, so this time I don't have to waste a lot of time strapping down the doors. So that is lovely. Lovely. And if you guys think that's cool, Wait till you see my next tow I got to do after this. We might get to do a little bit of car show and tell. These videos find me sometimes. So we'll go ahead and start strapping it in. Got a little bit of tension on there. Let me back up so you guys kind of see the whole, the whole process. Yeah. 
back and forth. This is just to keep it from going back and forth. You want to take these straps in? This is how I always tie my straps. I go like that, and then I loop them right in the bottom, just like that. So that way they look pretty. Same thing, take my strap, take it behind there, pull it behind, and then go underneath, then through, and just tuck it, whatever. Now we're going to work the middle. And the way I'm going to do that is the same deal with these lasso straps. So I'm just going to come over here. We're going to take these finger straps or the cluster straps. We're going to go straight to the body. That way we can lock the body on. As you can see, I'm just using the factory uh, tie down points up underneath there. Uh, I can't really, let me see if I can fix the angle there so you guys can see. But that's where I'm going to right there, just like if I was towing it normally. And I'm so glad they kept the doors in. That's why I'm like, man, it's going to take me forever to strap down. All that stuff that was in there last time, I would imagine the body shop came here already and got a jump on it, so.
everything. So I think that's going to be good enough for transport. You guys get the point. Uh, you can always add some more straps, but I think that's good enough, uh, you know, to at least get the um, bed and everything in a position. And I don't want this video to be super long. So I'll probably put another ex couple extra straps on there just from the rear, uh, from one side to the other. As you can see, there's a couple holes in there. I'm going to go straight to that. And then I'll be very easy on it. Probably use a couple microfibers so that way it doesn't bend the back and just use very minimal tension just to get it snug as a bug. But that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, that's how you do it. I hope it helped. I love doing these videos. As always, please like and subscribe and follow. Gianna's Towing, Tow Trucks, Cars, and Energy Drinks. Out.